you know what's up boys, I still got the hat on because my hair is still a mess. And I wanted to record another video because I thought it was very important to talk about. But I just recently watched a video by Hamza right here. Stop Wasting Your Money by Hamza. And it's quite a while ago, 11 months ago. And it's him saying, uh, like, don't waste your money, don't be materialistic, don't be wasteful. Keep the money, give it back to your family, etc., etc. All the good shit in life. I think I think that's very inspirational. Some other comments include that of people think being minimalistic is someone who isn't happy but and greedy, but it's the opposite really. It's not about having cool designer clothes, but healthy relationships and goals. I think that Oh, this guy says something really good. Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. Epic Epictus? Epic tetus. Epic, Epictus, 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 Epictus. What the fuck type of name is that? That's a sick name. Anyways, back to the main point. I think that true wealth is true freedom. Wealth is complete and utter actual self actualization, which I say a lot on this channel. And wealth is also complete and utter freedom. Damn. If you are, if you are free. It means that you have enough money to do whatever the fuck you want to do. Whenever you want to do it, however you want to do it, wherever you want to do it. Complete and utter freedom and complete and utter self-actualization is achieved through, yes, a set, a, number of, uh, a set number amount of money you make a month, 5 to 10k. However, this doesn't mean you go out and spend crazy amounts of money. Holiday here, holiday there, designer clothes, Balenciaga shoes, da, 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 first class. Da, da. You don't need that shit. You can find an economy. Save money. Go for what one <laughs> for one first class, which is two grand. You go on four economy uh, holidays for one first class holiday. Of course, going on first class is like once it's nice and everything. Wow, well, first class. I get to lay in the bed. You see all them videos online. Wow, I got caviar. It tastes kind of like tuna. Whoa, and champagne wine. Ah, I'm living the high life. First class, spent two grand on this shit. Yeah, but you can never go back. You can never go back. After first class, are you going to go back to the economy like a peasant? No, your ego will literally not allow you to sink below that. It's very common. Because people treat you like a king up in first class. You went from peasant economy, tight as fuck. Oh, I'm bumping shoulders. I don't know. You you gonna take you gonna take the armrest? You say, oh no, no. <laughs> you gonna take the armrest? No, no, it's okay. You can, you can have it. Oh, my arm is kind of hurting. Let me take the bag. You go from that to having your own bed, to laying down, to sleeping, being comfortable, to eating caviar, fresh meals. No, it's, I don't know. It's not fresh. Hot meals, champagne, little TV surround sound, audio, your little, your little own room, your little own hut. It's nice and everything. Infinite drinks. To that, to two drinks only. You can never downgrade. Everything has its cost. Everything comes at a cost, whether that's invisible cost or a up uh, upfront uh, fiscal cost. I think uh, first class comes up. Damn, my, my arm's like a stub. With well, first class, it comes with an upfront cost of two, like two grand, and also with a psychological cost. You can never go back down, unless like me, I can go, I can, I don't care, I go back down. No, everyone thinks they're, they're, they're the exception. I also think I'm the exception, but realistically, if I was into that situation, um, I probably wouldn't be able to go down either. So I'm trying to make more money. I'm trying to be more grindy, and it wouldn't like it wouldn't have a big positive impact on <sighs> my mental health. I don't know why I said like that, but. That's the point of money. Money is not to impress. Money is to be free. Like, once you start making a lot of people, like, I'm, I I completely and utterly believe that a lot of people watching my channel and a lot of people watching some improvement videos and a lot of people on that some improvement grind, they're reading, they're studying, they're the uh, thing, listening to a podcast of rich people, Andrew Tate and Andrew Huberman and who else? What's his name again? Uh, not Andrew Miller. Who the hell's that? Uh, my brain... Lord Sugar, who else? And some gypsy billionaire, Alex. Not Alex Eubank. My brain. Oh, my, I, can't, I, can't, I can't fathom it. Maybe such a gypsy. I, I find him. Alan. No, it's Alan Sugar.
Alfie Best. Let's there yeah, as him. Alfie Best. Alfie Best. You're watching courses, perhaps pirated or free courses. <laughs> you, you, you're doing that type of shit. You're gonna get rich, bro. You're gonna get money, and before you know it, you're gonna be spending on stupid shit. You're gonna be a victim to lifestyle inflation. But and I think indulging a little bit is fine, but. You have to remember your roots. You have to remember where you came from. You have to remember money is for freedom. I just have titles of money is for freedom or stop wasting money. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think it's, I stop wasting money more powerful. Money equals freedom is a bit more niche. It's the overall message of this video. That's the end message. Yeah. I'm going to name it stop wasting money. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I hope you guys learned some of that. My little rant. Oh, I fucked my wrist for boxing, dude. Oh, what the hell? Catch you guys next video. Sui. Sayonara. Sayonara, Sui. Do the hard work because you don't feel like it. Hard work's easy for me. Rule determination, consistency. Hard work, yeah, but yeah, but yeah.